Okay, so this is a nighttime drive in a Prius, generation two, 2003. It's been converted to a plug-in with a plug-in hybrid kit from MD Tech. It's a four kilowatt hour plug-in kit. So this will last about an hour. Give us about an hour's driving and up to a maximum of 40 kilometers. When using electricity for lights, wipers, uh, air conditioning, the range on the kit will be lower because we will be using some electrical power to run those systems as well as the traction. Just a note, on the left side of the dashboard there's a, a blue blob, you can't quite see the icon that well on the dashboard. That's the EV mode, the electric vehicle mode. That's standard in the European Prius is to have this mode so that all you have to do is press the button. If the traction battery has enough power, it will stay in electric mode. Normally, a Prius will kick you out of this mode after a few minutes because there's not enough power in the normal hybrid battery. In the plug-in Prius conversion, you will get extra power going to the hybrid battery which will keep it charged and give you that extra power that you need to keep driving. This route is a route around the city, some slightly faster roads, just to show you that we can get sustainable speeds for quite some distance. Of course, when you're driving around the city, this is not normally the issue. There will be traffic and you'll be driving slower. So the kit will perform just as it is now. You'll be able to drive without any problems in electric mode. The cheapest way to drive an electric car is to convert a hybrid to a plug-in hybrid. That is compared to full ownership of an electric vehicle or buying a new plug-in hybrid or a used plug-in hybrid. Of course with a plug-in hybrid you have the advantage that when the electric power is run out you have the petrol to keep you going. This kit is the only road certified kit in Europe. That means that once it's installed, you don't need to go and get an MOT test or a tooth test. It's ready to go. This kit is also aimed at people that are looking to save money when they drive an electric car, as opposed to the novelty of just driving an electric car.
At this point in the test, the battery ran out in the camera, so I had to stop filming. I carried on driving, not knowing that the battery had run out on the camera, and we got up to about 32, 33 kilometers on this test drive. The hybrid battery temperature rose a little during the test. This is normal, the hybrid battery has fans to keep it cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Check out the other videos on this channel. There are some videos to help with installation and other videos showing other test drive scenarios.